and then it's, they can't be in there, it's not safe. It's a story we've followed for months. Multiple code violations at the crossing at Southern Hills Apartments. Two News Problem Solver Kathy Tatum tells us the city of Tulsa gave the owners until Friday to fix them or it's going to hire a crew to do the work and build the complex. Back in June after I did my first story here, the property manager told me I'm no longer welcome on the property. So when residents want to talk to me, they have to come outside. Julie Morgan met me at this hole in the fence across from building 400. And that's supposed to be condemned and there's been people living in there. She wanted me to know code enforcement's multifamily task force came out again and posted a new notice on building 400, unfit for human habitation. They can't be in there, it's not safe. A statement from the city says building 400 can't be occupied due to multiple property maintenance and fire safety code violations. Posting it allows Tulsa police to issue criminal citations to anyone living in it. And Wednesday afternoon, they let me know next week the city plans to open a demolition case for it. And that the complaints never stop from this place. They just keep rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. Morgan pointed out old furniture and trash strewn around dumpsters. She and her wife also sent photos and videos of trash and broken glass scattered in the parking lot, broken fire extinguishers, appliances left on walkways, and exposed wiring. Earlier this summer, code enforcement's Kevin Cox told us. We've been out there numerous times within the last year uh, trying to bring the property into compliance and we'll continue to do so until the property has been brought in compliance. Each time I do a story here, I call asking for an interview with the property's manager or owner about the city's effort to get the complex brought up to code. Hi, this is Kathy Tatum from Channel 2 again. But so far, none of those calls have been returned. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, 2 News, Oklahoma. A reminder tonight, if you'd like to share a problem or issue with us, just like Julie did, we've made it easy to contact us. Just scan the QR code on your screen with the camera on your phone for a variety of ways to get in touch. Here at 2 News, we're listening.